Hey YouTube, I'm laughing at myself because I'm doing another video with the palettes I have from each brand that I have, which is only two. <laughs> and I'm laughing because I see all these videos and people have like hundreds and hundreds of palettes and just brands from all over. And I'm just like, yeah, my mind isn't like that. And it's fine because what I have, I do actually use. And so no waste. Okay. So my Vizier palettes, I have. <laughs> I have four. <laughs> These four, and my newest edition is the Mink Set Etendu palette. This is the newest one, so that's five. So, <laughs> I'm not going to rank them because I like them all for different purposes. And I do like to pair them together. So, the first one I'm going to talk about is the Warm Matte 10 palette. So, you're going to be like, she has the most boring palettes I've ever seen on YouTube. I accept that. Okay. This this palette I like because if I just want just a toned down neutral look, I can pick this up and just pop a look on in five minutes and I don't have to think too much about it. And also this pairs well with other palettes and I'll get to that later. But this is just neutral. Like it's just great for me. Even this one here I can use for inner corner highlight or a brow bone highlight. I can use every shade in here and love the look that I did. And for all of these palettes, I do have looks with them using every shade in this palette throughout different videos, not all the shades in one video. So check those out if you want to see what I've done with the Warm Matte Number 10 palette. So that's this one. Soft, neutral, everyday looks. This one is also an all matte palette, the Neutral Matte Milieu. This one I like because even though they're all neutrals, it's a, it's a deeper, richer shade of a neutral compared to the milieu palette I mean the warm mattes and so I like this one because if I want to go neutral but I want it to be a little more bold this is the palette that I go to and I can pick this up and do a full look and not have to think too much the only thing I have to think about is this one <laughs> but other than that all the other shades I can just you know just pop out a look really quick and as a last resort I can put this on my lower lash line even though I do love this as a lid color for some reason, this is the only Viseart shadow that creases on me. So I don't know if it's something with how they do blues. Because there was another blue in another palette, another brand that I don't have anymore. I think I packaged it up to give it away. But that blue creased on me too. But this is the only shade that creases on me. But other than that, I still just love it. And I still use it as a lid shade because I just love it. And the reason it creases on me is because I take my lid colors up into the crease because otherwise you won't see my lid colors when I'm looking directly at you except this little thin line of lid right here. And so I do take my lid colors up into the crease and it'll crease in the crease. Sounded weird, but I know it made sense. <laughs> and so I love this for deeper neutral looks. I purchased the Sultry Muse, and I was kind of hesitant about it, like, oh, the colors look soft, it's an all shimmer palette, blah, 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 but I am so glad that I purchased this. Again, it's mostly warm tones. <laughs> I love every shade in here. I really enjoy pairing the Sultry Muse with the Natural Matte Milieu. This gives me my crease... Um, my lower lash line, my brow bone highlight. This gives me, you know, a variation of shades that I can do an ombre look on the lid. And, you know, I can do colorful on the lid, soft colorful on the lid, and then go in this one to deepen up like the outer corner, the outer V, and lower lash line. So I love to pair the Sultry Muse with the Natural Matte Milieu. I love it. I love it. I love it. Another one I bought, and I was hesitant to buy it because I thought it might have looked a lot like the Sultry Muse. And yes, this is all shimmer as well. And yes, this is... I don't know what I was going to say. I don't know. But it's more colorful than this one. This has light colors, where this one gives you some punches of color, even though they're all shimmer, which is fine for me. And I do, again, I do have looks with all of these palettes. This one, I was glad I purchased it. I have used every shade in here, and I've liked them all. There was one that I was kind of like, eh. 
But other than that, like this palette I really love because I can do a nice ombre look, you know, doing, using the columns or do quads, do a look with a quad if I want a deeper, you know, everyday look. I love pairing that one with the warm mattes. So the bridal satin, I don't know if I said that before, the bridal satin and the warm mattes. I love pairing these together because this gives me the color on my lid and this gives me my transition deep in my outer corner, you know, that type of thing. And so I used to say I want everything all in one palette, but since I've discovered Viseart, <laughs> I don't mind having all matte and all shimmer because they do pair well really together. And so if you guys have these palettes, let me know what you think. If you're thinking of getting them, let me know that too. If you've done looks with these palettes, leave them below and I will check them out. My newest edition, I almost forgot, was the Mink Set Itendu palette. And I know you guys are going to be like, she is so boring with these colors. And I'm getting shiny. This is like my fourth video today. And so these lights are just like, you're glowing, girl. We're going to make you hot. So this again, you might think, oh, kind of boring palette. Why did she get that? But I love the, the color options that it gives me. I love the color story. I have used every shade in here. And it does have mattes and shimmers. And so this is an all-in-one palette, which is great. And this is also great for travel. And you can do, you know, your neutral looks. This little quad over here, neutrals with a pop of color on the lid. You want to go a little bit darker, you can do that quad. If you want, like, a light, you know, everyday look, you can use this one. Or you can use this column here or this column there. Um, or even this one over here. Or you can also do by rose, specifically this one and this one. And so you can do a lot with this palette, even though it's small and it's only 12 shadows, but it is for me like every day. I don't differentiate between day looks, night looks, summer looks, fall look, winter looks, Valentine's Day looks. Like to me, a look is a look. And if you want to wear it, just wear it. Just put it on. And so that's just how I roll. So let me know your thoughts on these palettes if you have them. And thank you for being here and for watching. And you will see me in the next video.